Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to this video. In this video, I'll be teaching you guys how to run FSG locally so you can run your seeds faster or filter them faster. And the first thing is we're going to run eight commands in three different softwares. So the first one we're going to start off is PowerShell. Search the normal PowerShell and then run as administrator. And then I'll leave all of these commands in the description. Just copy. And then you want to right click to paste it. There you go. And then you want to paste the second one. Copy. And then right click to paste. Here. Okay, cool. So now that's done, you want to close. And then now we're going to download Ubuntu, which you can search by going to the Microsoft Store and then search Ubuntu. And then you can search Ubuntu for Windows. Let it load for a minute. And then you want to choose the 20.04.4 LTS, some of any of these. And then after downloading them, which should take some time, and then you want to just go here, you want to open them. And then for the first time, it should ask you for a new Linux username and a password. So you just type that in. However, the password won't show when you're typing in it. So you have to just keep track of what you're typing. And then after you got your new password and everything set up, you want to run a few commands. The first one is called sudo su. Just copy it and then paste it. Here, paste it. And then you're going to type in your password. As you can see, it doesn't show us your password. I think I, I think I fucked up. Let's try that again. There you go. And then you're going to paste the second command, which is apt update. Copy it, and then you can paste it. Also, to paste it, you have to right click instead of doing Control V. Then let's do its thing. It should be done. No, it's not. Okay. Now it's done. Now you're going to run the third command. This basically up installs Java. You're doing it. And then yes, it should be some time for you because I just run this commands recently. So it's, it's really fast for me. And then now you can safely close this. And now we're going to go to this GitHub releases. This is the seed bank. And what you're going to do is just press this download. And then you want to pull it out from your downloads folder. Like this. And then you're going to right click and then extract to a file. If you don't do that, it will scatter it all around. So make sure you extract to a file. And then the next thing you want to do is you want to open this. Don't really care about this at the moment. So we're going to do control shift and right click. And then you can see this open PowerShell window here, open Linux window shell here. You want to click the open Linux shell here. And then once again, you want to type in sudo su. Type in enter, type in your password again. Here and then now you want to type in this command copy paste it enter and uh, now it should be good to go now you just go here you can copy oops never mind I'll just type in it myself here you go Fine. C.py. So you want to paste this in. 
and then you want to hit enter and you should see find seat has started and then just wait for it to do its thing and then you should have a seat and a token and you can see it's really fast okay so now we're gonna talk about settings right so if you don't want to run the default um default filter which is the golden carrots and the looting sword one you can actually change it by going to your settings.json double click it and here you will see a filter and a threat count i leave this at four if your pc is slightly better what you can do to check is control shift and escape it will bring out a task manager here go to your performances and then this logical processor here we want to put in the number which is this logical processor processor minus four and you're gonna put in here and then this filter can go to the website here seed bank fsg and get, you can customize everything just don't make it too heavy it's for example I want housing stables, golden apple, food, then three iron. That will be too heavy. You can see the code is literally zero. So this is the default default um filter. You can mess around a bit. And this is your code. You can copy this. And then you just paste it in here. And I just save it. And you're good to go. And now you can either paste the seed manually or I have a macro that I made my own, which is this one. I will link it this macro in my Discord server. And you can basically open it with your text editor or whatever you're using. So it's really shitty macro I make myself because Specner's macro is currently breaking for me. So basically this helps you to type in the Python 3, the find C command, exit world, and create world. So these are the default settings. Control P is find seat, which I can show you. Double click to run it. And then go here, press Control P. And this command will automatically come out. I just have to press enter and then find seat. There you go. Control Z is exit world. And then P is create world. So I'll show you that in a minute. Just let it find its seed. Here. Double click it. Double click the seed. Press Control C. You come in here. You press your P key on your keyboard. There you go. It goes in full screen because I have st standard settings. And then let's just wait the seed to load here. There we go. And then now to exit the road, you have to press Ctrl Z. Just press Ctrl Z and you can exit out. And that's basically the whole macro. It doesn't have like fancy stuff that will break easily. However, you have to make sure that the creation screen is shown. So it doesn't skip any creation screen unless or it will be unverifiable. So I have to make sure it's shown and yeah that's basically how you run fsg fast and also you have to download auto hotkey to use this macro and yeah it's really simple you just go to a random website you go search auto hotkey download and then auto hotkey download is in here oops not this one auto hotkey.com second one just press download and go through the exe thing just download it and you're good to go you can just run the macro run everything and yeah that's basically how you run fsg fast and yeah that's the end of the video leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you like it and i'll see you the next time peace out